It's been three years since the world burned. It was Argus, the Watchman system giving control of the Solar Defense Force. Dr. Mason said it was inevitable, that it was the nature of all complex systems to grow beyond their original intended purpose. But then, hindsight is easier than foresight, and caution is always the first victim of progress. We don't know how long it took for it to decide to turn on its masters. Once it did, they say the war, if you could call it that, was over in less than 72 hours. 72 hours for the Earth Defense Force to be vaporized by an automated fleet of their own ships, and for centuries of humanity's achievements to be wiped off the face of the planet. Those of us spared from the destruction would subsist on a meager existence beneath the ruins of civilization. For three years, we hid, foraged, survived. Until, below the ruins of New Alberta, we found it. A massive weapons research and deployment facility called the Bow. Nearly a mile long, protected by the mountains above it from the orbital strike. We only knew about it because of Griffin. Some stubborn, dogged resolve in that old war horse that kept him searching since the first days of our exile. Hidden deep within the heart of the facility, we found the Arrow. A light space fighter with a singularity-driven core. An engineering marvel, making it the fastest and most maneuverable spacecraft ever conceived. I was a pilot before the world was turned to ash, ferrying payloads to the orbital platforms that represented our first steps to the stars. But this was like nothing I've ever flown before. Only a few weeks from completion, the world burned before it could make its first flight. And it's why I'm here now. As the only member of our group with any flight experience, it falls to me to shoulder the burden of what comes next. To take the arrow and bring the fight back to Argus. Three years ago, it won the battle it started with us in 72 hours. But the war it started isn't over.
Jet Wash. Yeah. 